Bank Bazaar is bankbazaar.com. I'm sure a lot of our viewers are aware about that. The management is now joining us. Adil Shetty, CEO and co-founder at uh, bankbazaar.com. Uh, firstly, Adil, thank you so much for taking out time for us. You know, a lot of our viewers would have seen a lot of ads of Bank Bazaar. But if you could just introduce the company, what does the company do? How is it a facilitator? And how essentially viewers can benefit out of this site? Right. So it's an online marketplace that helps uh, users access financial products. So the financial product can be a banking product, like a credit card, a debit card, a home loan, a car loan, a personal loan. Or it can be an insurance product like health insurance, life insurance, or it can be investments and savings like mutual funds, debit card, FD. What the site does, right, is on your mobile phone, using eKYC, eSign, will allow you to access financial products in extremely convenient, paperless fashion. So rather than talking to 10 different institutions uh, and then applying using paper and then finding out several days later, everything happens on the mobile phone and it happens in minutes, wherein you can take your uh, credit card approval or set up your MF literally paperless in, in minutes. Right, uh, so after, after uh, you know, 8th and 9th of November, what has been the sort of inquiry level? Uh, you know, are you equipped with such sort of people, such sort of manpower, uh, the sort of increase that we've seen in the digital push? Yeah, so uh, at Bank Bazaar, right, it's largely a digital business. So we look to process the entire application using technology. So systems are capable of scaling rapidly. Uh, when you ask about what has happened post-demonetization, we break it into two categories. Uh, one is categories of products which really have picked up post-demonetization, like credit cards, debit cards. We're also expecting now a lot of money from retail investors to go into mutual funds uh, because they're giving you know, good rates of return and are uh, competitive. However, I think products which have slowed down a bit because people are waiting and watching uh, include uh, things like home loans, uh, to a lesser extent even car loans, uh, because we're waiting, waiting for uh, consumers to figure out what they want to do next. Right, but you know, the sort of demand that you've seen, you expect a lot of people who would have probably come over a period of two years after this demonetization to actually come in in the next six months? Yeah, absolutely, right? I think in the past, even if you take some people who are in our parents' generation, right? They said that I have cash, I'm completely fine. But today, right, uh, they have come on the site and taken a debit card. They've come on the site and they've taken a credit card because they realize that, uh, you know, I need to have that plastic in my, uh, in my uh, wallet. So definitely, I think uh, for the same user, what they, what they need in their wallet, and for new users who've never touched credit card, debit card before, uh, or mutual fund before, today they realize that if I want to invest my money reasonably well, uh, a, a mutual fund makes more sense for me now. So a lot of new people are coming into the system now. Right. Uh, so, you know, one thing is, of course, the queries have increased. And as you said that you are digital, you would probably want to do, you know, you can execute n number of contracts versus others. Correct. But banks had a lot of rush. Everybody in banks was just concentrating on cash, you know, deposits as well as, uh, uh, you know, withdrawals that happen, even whether you are in loan, whether you are in fee processing or whatever that was happening. So how, how does the processing of these uh, cards have happened in the last one month? Has there been a slowdown over there? So when demonetization got announced, I think it was a big responsibility on the bank side. And literally, you know, senior people in the banks were in the branches, making sure that things were taken care of. You know, a big salute uh, to the bankers who did their very best during a very, very stressful time. Uh, so I think that month, right, a lot of resources got diverted to just making sure that currency exchange and deposits and withdrawals were happening fine on the bank side. But what we're seeing this month, right, is that the bounce back has come. So like I was saying, uh, the number of, uh, 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 in, uh, number of visitors, the number of inquiries, right, on credit card, debit card, uh, personal loan has actually gone higher than it was pre-demonetization. Right, and in terms of execution, do you expect a uh, you know, bigger push to come in after Jan? Uh, we definitely expect so. If you look at it, the banking system is flush with a lot of funds. Now, these funds need to be productively deployed by giving them out uh, to customers, right? So we're expecting interest rates to fall. So across uh, 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 home loans, car loans, the MCLR cuts have already started to a certain degree with uh, uh, certain banks and we're expecting over the next six months right that there will be a push out wherein a lot of new consumers will be offered access to banking products right uh, in terms of loan can you just tell us a picture so you know initially there was a big risk of people were just worried and there was clearly a lot of bankers told us that nobody walked in for loan nobody walked in for any products of banks uh, has the low home loan situation eased especially for cars especially for homes uh, do you believe it'll take a take a while before you know you start seeing again that applications for loans coming in 
See, on the personal loan side, uh, the recovery has been quick. So I think uh, people, you know, who n need money for, let's say, a wedding, who need it for uh, some kind of emergency expense, right? So I think that demand is very quick. It's a three lakh loan ticket that's come back. I think on home loan and car loan, we're expecting that the bounce back and the recovery will start uh, very soon, as early as uh, uh, next month. Uh, I think in the initial phase, right, now that, uh, uh, you know, the currency has been demonetized, uh, uh, land transactions also, people are waiting to discover price. But I think that hopefully we'll start seeing the green, the green shoots and the positive signs start coming in on that front too. Right. And in terms of, uh, you know, the, uh, how would Bank Bazaar invest into it? I'm sure that, you know, you would also be looking to increase your volumes, take a big share of this digital space. Do we expect a lot more investment into education for public? Like a lot of people would not know how to use bankbazaar.com. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, see, we have about 9 million visitors who come and access the site. A majority of those are actually on the mobile phone. It's very, very interesting. Uh, we have more than 50% of our users in mobile. I think there are two major initiatives on our side. One is uh, on December 8th, uh, there was an RB RBI notification on KYC. What the RBI has allowed us and banks to do is to use eKYC via OTP, which means that on your mobile phone, you can actually set up a savings account. You can set up an FD up to 1 lakh, uh, and you don't have to submit any paperwork. It works on a very secure uh, EKYC via OTP Aadhaar system. So one big area of investment for Bank Bazaar is building the right technology, right? So that with your mobile phone in the comfort of your house, you can get a mutual fund in minutes. You can get a debit card in minutes and you don't have to run around and face any inconvenience. It needs to be fully paperless. The second area is education. I think there are a lot of new technology options open. Another option, for example, is UPI. It's a great technology, right? You don't have to load or unload any wallet. From your bank account, you can pay via virtual ID. I think a book, big push both from the government of India side, which is encouraging cashless and paperless, uh, from the RBI side and Bank Bazaar side next year in 2017, is to educate customers right on how to use these products because genuinely they're convenient. They're more convenient than the old ways of doing things. But I think there's always a small obstacle when you try something new. So we're trying to teach people that, hey, open your mobile phone, just check for the best rates, apply online, get approval online, and you don't have to run around, it's paperless. Right. In terms of, uh, you know, uh, credit card usage or probably using of uh, cash versus digital money, uh, one of the key problems that a lot of people face is, you know, whenever you go, say, to a path lab or to a restaurant who's not, uh, you know, very digital, uh, they would say that we would take 1% extra or 2% extra on your card uh, rather than the cash that you would give. Do you think those charges would come down and uh, that, that, that would lead to more usage of, uh, you know, digital money? Yeah, absolutely. You know, a merchant is in fact uh, not allowed to ask for that 1 or 2% extra. If you look at it, uh, 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 the government and the banks have waived off MDR on debit card charges uh, 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 up to a certain uh, time frame to encourage it. So I definitely, uh, uh, you know, see a situation wherein whether you're paying cash in a restaurant, whether you're paying cash in a lab, or whether you're paying using your debit card or your credit card, the, the payment should be the same. There's no reason for any, any difference. And I think the government is trying to uh, ensure, right, uh, that uh, uh, people are able to use their banking instruments anywhere they go. Right. Uh, so in terms of, you know, what happens uh, in terms of usage of cards, do you expect as the volumes increase that 2% number itself would come down even if banks don't reduce it? Uh, see, that's the MDR and I think there are multiple parties which are uh, part of that. So that really depends upon, you know, how the parties uh, work together. And all said and done, right, they have expenses for the point of sale machines, for the maintenance, the setup of those accounts. So I think that issue needs to be dealt uh, uh, with, uh, you know, by the providers in that system, which is the issuing bank, the acquiring bank and the network provider. Right. How big an opportunity do you think will investments be? Now, you know, with uh, cash not being encouraged, money being into bank and probably going ahead, things would, in the banking space, would increase. So do you think, uh, you know, a person who would want to buy real estate or maybe a physical gold, it will be more incentivized to go into the insurance space or the mutual fund space because the cost may be low. I definitely agree, right? So now what has happened is all the money is back in the banking system. So it's in it's in banking. Now with one click, right, this money can be used to open a mutual fund, be it debt, be it uh, 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 equity. And I definitely see that now people can't park their money 
you know, in unaccounted for places. So it automatically means that they need to put the money where it will be used and give them a reasonable return. Uh, and I think a debt mutual fund is, if one is not looking at risk or an equity mutual fund makes sense. Now the beauty of technology, right? I, I put my money savings in mutual fund. I do it on uh, uh, Bank Bazaar. Literally in three minutes flat, right? You do EKYC, it's completely paperless and your mutual fund is set up. Uh, you have access to all of the mutual funds in the country. I see a lot more people right now that they need to use their money in accounted for places moving towards the mutual fund market. And I think online being a useful way of doing it because literally it's a matter of two minutes in order to complete your paperless transaction. Right. Uh, Adil, thank you so much for taking sure. our time for us and hope our viewers thank learned you. quite a bit. Thank